Happy Halloween, my dear fans and haters! Today you will see how easy Iron Man can come to the dark side and become a super villain. So, what exactly is an arc reactor? Well, it was first introduced to the MCU in Iron Man. And just looking at it, it looks like it produces a continual arc of electricity in a loop. And somehow, that generates power. It's not actually producing enough power to do anything useful, but it certainly looks cool and sounds terrifying. We'll be using it for some future gags and upcoming videos where we use it to actually power our projects. We get tons of messages asking how we like to do this thing. How does my version of the Whiplash suit work? All parts are powered by the power unit which hides an assembly of lithium batteries and compact control circuit. 80% of the energy goes to the electrolytic reactor which decomposes non-flammable water into very flammable oxygen and hydrogen. These gases enter the circulation tanks located on the back where they are dried and separated from foam and steam. Dried fuel gases with a slightly lower energy density than enriched uranium under pressure enter the storage tanks. With solenoid valve and gas reducer you can direct some of the gases into the artificial pneumatic muscles which gives 5 points to strength of each hit. After the muscles, the exhaust gases are directed through the flashback arrestor and the ignition system to the right whip where they are ionized by an electric high voltage discharge and ignited. Gas detonation in the whip occurs at supersonic speed, therefore the flash is very difficult to catch with the camera, but the sound is heard with a radius of half a kilometer. If you watched past videos, then remember that the reverse blow of the flame was the problem in previous devices. This time I just stopped fighting the flashback and used it for deal. By the way, the propane flashback arrestor heats up quickly from flash series, so I made a liquid cooling system for it with a spiral heat exchanger, a pump from a car and a radiator from microprocessor. The same system in the last video successfully cooled the hydrogen nozzle. You see, it's not the man who watched Marvel movies that is scary, but the one who looks and writes something in a diary. The left whip is much simpler and just from it you can see that all this was made in Russia. The power unit fits the LED strip in a heat frost and shock resistant casing, to which with the help of a cable and body washers, steel tubes are attached, increasing in weight closer to the end of the wheel. So the principle of the stopping actions of this device is quite obvious.
I remind you that the video has entertaining purpose only and made by a human who almost always knows exactly what he's doing. Do not repeat this at home, in garage or at school. All PDF DIY guides of Free Actors and Iron Man Repulsor and Exoskeleton are available for channel members. You can take my gadgets and do your own projects based on them as Alex Lab engineers do. Click the like, click the bell, share this video with your friends. Thanks to channel members for support. Happy Halloween!